beautiful people welcome back to another episode of my animal show and today we are going to be talking about animal communication animals emotions and animal feelings so wait do animals really feel hmm. well when i say they feel i do not mean this neither do i mean this but can animal communicate <laughs> i know when i say animal communication some of you are thinking of hakuna matara hakuna matara in the jungle the mighty jungle the lion sleeps tonight in the jungle the quiet jungle the lion sleeps tonight oh, we <laughs> song so guys when i'm saying animal communication i do not mean that neither do i mean the point where simba and mufasa are having a fight Your like a hair. you know when i'm saying animal communication i'm typically talking of ways that animals communicate amongst themselves or rather animals in zoos or animal orphanages are it's able okay. to communicate it's to you okay. using relax, different relax. expressions or emotions um, yeah, not... now for example i'm walking with a banana how will i know that a monkey is hungry or they really need it or a bushback is hungry and she really needs it now the first thing they'll do in this case is try approach if it is a monkey they'll come and snatch it away from you and if you're not careful they might snatch it in the worst way or the best way now when i am saying animal communication let me give you a story time for one minute before I show you a video. Now, um, mothers, when mothers give birth, um, let me talk about antelopes to be specific. Mother antelopes always hide themselves from the herds whenever they are expectant, whenever they feel they have achieved full expectancy period. So what they do is they exclude or rather remove themselves from the herd for a period of time. Now, when they remove themselves for three or four days, they go and give birth in dense bushes. Now, this dense bushes doesn't mean that sometimes the rest of the troop does not come around. Sometimes they do come around. But when they come around, what do they do? They come around, they groom, and they're able to tell each other that it is not yet time to bring the calf to the herd. And so the other group will go without showing you what happens. Now, I work with animals and I have a scenario. One day, I am doing my field monitoring as usual. I come across this antelope that has given, sorry, that gave birth to a calf and the calf died after a couple, a couple days. So now, Mostly when we go to the field, we're either doing treatment, we're either doing translocation. And some of these animals that you're breeding in captivity are always able to tell who you really are. So, um, this particular mother sees us and she sees like, oh wow, my baby has died. We find the mother really trying to groom the calf like, wake up, wake up, please wake up baby. And you know, the baby doesn't wake up at all. And so, the moment she sees us, she moves away from the calf. We get a chance to go examine the cow for about a minute. The moment the, the mother stands, you know, a distance and tries to watch what we're doing. The moment the mother realizes that we are not able to bring the calf back to life, the mother comes back again running. And now, in most cases, mothers are the most dangerous animals, especially when they're having their calves. So we move a distance. What is this animal trying to say? It's trying to say, I really need help. My baby is dead. And so if my baby is dead, because I know you people can help, let me give you a chance. But if you're not able to help, then I go. And so such scenarios happens many, many times. For example, how does a lion cub know that it's supposed to follow the mother at a certain area? How does a lion cub know how to hunt? How does a lion cub get taught how to do things if they're not able to communicate? they are all able to communicate just that they have a different model they have a different way of communication except speaking by tongue just like how we showed by videos now check this out and give me your comments